Karkar, a magician. He was the first to notice a fire in the apartment building last night. He woke everyone up in time, but he may lose out on at least four months' work because of his heroism. Gordon Vizzuti reports. They still don't know what caused the fire, but residents of this apartment on Fifth Avenue in New Westminster are thankful to have Sean Farquhar as a neighbor. Just after midnight last night, he noticed the flames and pounded on 12 doors before going back in to rescue the doves he uses in his magic show. He saved all but one, burning his hands in the process. He's one all right. He'll be okay. What's this bird's name? His name's Prince. <laughs> hey, he's seven years old. Not a bird. You want to change his name to Lucky? Yeah. I think we'll change it to Lucky. <laughs> I can't believe you made it. Today, combing through what left of his apartment, Farquhar is pleased that most of the major illusions he uses, his livelihood, are salvageable. The stuff that I really prayed that would be saved is all the big illusions like the cutting a lady in half and the box that you put swords through and everything. A friend of mine got me these Chinese screens, which are really thick, and they say it acted just like a firewall and protected all the stuff behind it. I was amazed that this lasted because the flames coming in through the window right here, that, that everything actually survived. I've got popcorn machines, everything back there. Some important things were lost, however. This trophy for the best children's magician in Vancouver might be salvageable. I just won it a week ago. It'd be kind of sad to go back with it and say, well, here's what's left of it. I'm sorry. His scrapbook with memories of the various cruise ships he's worked on is intact, but other memories are gone forever. A collection of antique photos, many willed to him by magicians of the 30s and 40s, are gone, along with the most important book of all. The book itself uh, that tells all my bookings and everything is, I don't know where it is, what happened to it, but I have no idea where any of my shows are or, or their addresses or dates. I mean, there's going to be some mum sitting someplace who's going to wait for the show to come, and I'm not going to be there because they're not going to call to reconfirm something like that, and they'll not know. And I'll miss their show, and some kid will go sit in the press waiting for the magician to show up. Mr. Amazing, master of state of hand, will be back in business in two weeks when his hand heals. Until then, he says, he'll get by with a good attitude. My mom says when I was born, the doctor slapped me, and I said, pick a card. <laughs> as long as I can remember. My dad did magic, my grandfather and my great-grandfather. So I'm carrying on the fourth generation. Well, what's left of the fourth generation? But you got to have a good attitude and laugh about it, or else you get real depressed. <laughs> Gordon Vizzuti, First News, New Westminster. Well, he certainly lives up to his name. He has a great attitude.